Today let's break down the right stick switch and see how we can use it more effective, so without any delay let's jump into the video. We have two types of player switches, one, the L1 switch which is the main, you just tap the L1 and the game switches to the nearest defender near the ball. So it's limited in a way that you can only switch to the nearest defenders, you cannot switch to the players far away from the ball. Then we have the next player switch icon, when you switch it on, you will see a faded icon on top of one of your AI defenders, this indicates the player you may switch to when you tap the L1, and it only appears to the players near the ball. Now let's look at the right stick switch, we have three different mechanics of the right stick switch, one, the player relative. This one, the player with the cursor on his top acts as the center of the switch, what I mean, when you want to switch from player A, to player B, you have to figure out by using the campus direction, which direction is player B from A. As you see it's north, you have to flick the right analog to the direction of the player we want to switch to. Analog switches are not limited, you can switch to every player on the pitch anytime you wish, except the L1 switch which switches to the nearest defenders only. Next one is the player rotation, it was recently introduced in FIFA 22, we know that the second player icon indicator show the next player you may switch to when you press L1, player rotation we use the same logic as the player relative where the player is the center of the switch, for it, it doesn't switch between the players you're controlling, but you switch between the second player indicator, then when you want to control that player you just tap the L1. You can keep on switching through the players until you get your desired one, but when you switch to one player and you take long to press L1 to control that player, the next switch indicator automatically shifts back to the nearest AI defender. Last is ball relative. This one we use the same idea of campus direction, but instead of players being the center of the switch, it's the ball. Like here, if it was player relative where the player is the center of the switch, so when I flick the right analog to this direction from player A, it should be switching to player B, but it's ball relative, where the ball is the center of the switch, so when I flick to that direction, even though there is no any player in that direction, but the game chooses the player likely in that direction, so I switch to player C. Between all the three, typically I recommend you guys to use player relative, ball relative is pretty hard to use as the ball moves fast, player rotation is pretty confusing and it makes your switches very slow. So using player relative, let's see how we can use right stick switch more effectively in different ways. Right stick switch mainly is for stable player positioning in the following ways, 1, cutting far passing lanes, where the L1 switch is limited to control defenders who are not near the ball, take a look at this example. Here I lose the ball, so my opponent is preparing for counter attack and I'm expecting him to rush, I know he will look for his strikers, he takes a pass and I immediately realize his two strikers open. There is no threat for through pass because his players are not running in behind, I know he wanna make pass and move between his strikers, but I have to guess which striker he will take his pass first, most players take this pass, so I have to switch and cover the lane. But the defender who is able to cover the lane immediately is far away from the ball, if I use L1 switch the game might switch to these players because they are near the ball, so by the help of the right stick switch, I was able to get to control my center back and run into the pass lane to win the ball. It's more fun when you win the ball, but you have to be careful, and sometimes you may give up free space, to understand and avoid that risk just keep watching. Another way is to close up the open man, there are situations where you can't cut the passing lanes for two reasons, either when you might give up free space. Like here, after switching to my center back, if I run into the lane, the opponent's AI teammate might run into the space I have left, which will cause a deadly through ball. Or, when your defender is too far to close the pass lane, you have to just close up the space of open man of the opponent. In this example, 
Opponent is building up from goal kick, I'm switching my players to push them forward, at this moment, my opponent is having an open man, I see my defender but he is far away to cut the pass lane. So I switch to him immediately and I start closing up the opponent's player, opponent passes and I was very near to his player, so I pressed him and won the ball. Even if the opponent realize and doesn't pass to his player, you can switch back and press the ball holder. Another way to use the right stick switch is to close up spaces manually, like here, I have got a counter attack, my player is running into space for a through pass, what I know, my opponent was willing to defend that through pass, but he was unable to switch to right player to cover up the space, because he depended on the L1 switch, so the game switched to the defender near the ball who can not even defend the pass, so if he was able to right stick switch, he would be able to defend the pass. So when you realize space that could cause a deadly through pass, you have to quickly switch and position your defender in a way of covering that space. So that's it, right stick switching is the hardest skill when defending, but you have to take your time to practice it, because it's one of the biggest keys to a strong defense, so just keep peace, see you in the next one.